My career as an actor began 35 years ago. In the first 10 years of my career was smooth sailing till I ventured into business and overnight I lost everything and get myself into debt. When a person is desperate, they will think of all the way out. At that moment, I was very desperate looking for money. All I can think of is how to make fast money. I thought that's the only way out by gambling or buying 4Ds, you know. So I bang on that. I lost even more. I was very worried that my, my career would end because all the publicity was very bad. I get myself drunk just to forget about my worry. There's one incident. I was in Thailand. I was in a very rowdy place. It's a brand new karaoke. It's a three-story high owned by my, one of my friends. I was invited there, have a couple of drinks. I received a phone call. Just to answer the call, I'm looking for a quiet place. I went out to a walkway, there's a corridor, there's an exit sign. I rushed to it, I opened the door. When I opened the door, I just fell off. I don't know what happened. But at that moment, something just grabbed hold of me and turned me around. That touch was comfortable, smooth and steady. The moment when I grabbed hold of something, I shouted, help, help, help. A waiter heard me shouting, runs towards me, pulled me up and said, Sir, what happens to you? I said, I don't know. I opened the door, I just fell off. Then he said, how can it be? This door was locked. The key is with me. How you open it? I said, I don't know. I opened the door, I just fell off. I said that I dropped my foot. He shined up with a tall shot. Oh, that's supposed to be a spiral staircase. Convenient for the workers and waiters, you know, to clear all the rubbish, they chop off the two steps of the spiral staircase. So when just now I step up, it's hollow. Full of rubbish, full of garbage, all that. If I've fallen, there's only three things that happen to me. Either slash all over, disfigure, or die. But who grabbed hold of me? At that moment, I was scared. After he found my phone, I went back to the hotel. My phone rang again. I answered the call. How about this call, my friend? Because of answering this call, almost got me killed. But my friend said that, are you okay? Is there anything happens to you? I said, what you ask? Then he said that there was a few pastors that praying for me. Say that I'm in trouble. But the Lord will save me. You mean that just now I fell off that something that you so called the Lord saved me? The next day, I got back to Singapore. I've set up my friend invitation to his church. There's a few pastors and friends that which want to pray for me. I went there, wow, it was full of people you know, doing the service. I said, oh, how am I going to face all these people? But the way they treated me is so different. They mind their own business. They sing their worship, this and that, you know. Then from there, I said, started you know, to meet all these new friends. They start to pray for me, encourage me, this and that, because I was very, very down. Actually, I was very, very unwilling to share my testimony because that was part of my life. I just don't remember. But if I didn't go through all this, how am I supposed to know this God is so real? The devil came to kill, steal and destroy my life, but God restored my life. Hope is the invisible hands of God that lifted me up and showed me the impossibility to make it possible. I used to be called the Tu Shen, the unbeatable one. Now I'm facing the real Shen, the mighty real Shen. He's the real Shen. If you believe in Him, everything is possible. He has restored my life, my career, and everything that I have lost. So now, I am enjoying the enriching life that God has given to me. We invite you to the celebration of hope, 17 to 19 May 2019 at the Singapore National Stadium. We'll see you there.